this is Pastor Gene Kim from San Jose Bible Baptist Church. So I'm coming from a drive and I decided to post this quick video basically on my final video on YouTube. So if YouTube were to shut us down, because YouTube has been very strict and some of you have seen my recent video on Google and the social network platform censoring people trying to speak out the truth. So I just wanted to give this video to encourage our viewers. The world is getting much more crazy, but remember the Christian's mentality is not anger and wrath at the wickedness in this world, but rather more hope. As trouble grows even more and more through the riots or the coronavirus or some of you have heard me mention the video about we might have to bear arms if a riot were to happen in our area or if we were a, going out delivering the gospel, I don't know. But I don't want us to get in a mentality of survival, survival, or fear, 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 or anger and anger at the government, but rather hope because as, as trouble brews even more and more and the Antichrist kingdom is coming closer, that means our hope is closer. At the book of Titus, it says that the rapture is our blessed hope. Being a King James only dispensational Bible believer, we have so much confidence and peace and power on our side that whatever happens in this world, so be it. We're not worried. We know that the rapture will happen before the mark of the beast comes out, before the Antichrist sets up his kingdom. So whether some form of vaccine or some form of forced measures or mandatory restrictions take place, we Christians don't have to live in fear and think about losing our salvation. And neither do I with my video being taken down. It may be possible that one day my channel is taken down, but I want everyone to remember this. Whatever my final video on YouTube will be, I want every single person to try especially if you don't have a Bible-believing church, to try to keep up with every one of our videos because the next video I post could be the last one that I might post. And that last video might be the most important thing that the Lord might want you to take with you because he has a final message to the whole world. So far, the Lord has been very good to us. There were a few enemies uh, who still attacked us. Uh, coincidentally, two days ago, um, I prayed over one of my enemies who were attacking us on the internet. Uh, I don't think the person had the guts to mention my name though. And then less than 24 hours later, the person had another strike and then his channel only has two videos now. So he'll probably pop up again in July or something. But the point is, is that I've got not just the wicked ones in the Antichrist system, but even onlineers who keep trolling me. And then I'm in a liberal area, San Francisco Bay Area. I mean, I have so much confidence and peace because no matter what happens to me or even my channel, I know that God is in control. I hope every one of you will feel that way. And then when my final video comes out, I hope that um, you will be watching it, paying attention and apply it to yourself. And it may be a final message that the Lord wants to take with you. If you can, uh, I would highly recommend for all of you to download our videos as much as you can. And uh, obviously, uh, we don't want people to criticize our videos or pretend it's their own material. So don't do anything, you know, illegal or that's unchristian. But we want everyone to take our videos so that they can have some sort of Bible-believing study, teaching, and growth if they were to shut us down one day. But until then, I'll be teaching what God wants me to teach and preach what God wants me to preach. And I know that a lot of you might still disagree with me or even be upset if I point out, if I point out people who teach something wrong, whether it be in government or in churches or even, say, believers who have good intentions. But me, I'm, I'm non-compromising. And I want to give people the truth no matter what. And that's why you guys came to my channel. I'm not some rogue who wants to start my own little gig. I'm in submission under other Bible-believing pastors. And people who watched me for years know that. 
especially in our blowout videos, I befriend and I have connections with a lot of Bible-believing pastors. And I had some correct me as well, and I follow advice. Unlike some YouTube rogues who want to do their own thing, and some of them actually, uh, the Lord judged them, and another one of the people who attacked me and then made fun of our channel, Real Bible Believers, the person just went through yesterday lost some of his close followers actually and friends so the Lord's taking care of me so I don't have to worry about all sides attacking me and if I can do that then why not you the Lord cares for every one of his children and the Bible talks about that if God you know knows every blade of grass in the field and every sparrow how much more will he take care and clothe you O ye of little faith so Obviously, this video is not my final video. I will still continue until the Lord says it's enough or I'm shut down, if that's His will. But I want people to just be aware because... Nope, that's my GPS. Sorry about that. But I just want people to be aware. Please be aware that there, will come, there may come a time that we'll be gone and that to take every video as much as they can because it could be the last one. You never know if tomorrow might be the last video. So pay attention and try to download as much as you can. Never let my YouTube channel take over your Bible-believing church if you're attending a Bible-believing church. And if you aren't attending one, please try to attend one. Reach out to us on email or go to our website, realbiblebelievers.com, go to our resources link, and then it'll have all the Bible-believing churches listed there. Uh, we want you to grow as much in the Lord before He comes. Hebrews 10.25 says we've got to assemble as much as we can as saved fellow believers and grow in grace. And I want everyone to also remember this. Not every Bible-believing preacher is the same as me or is perfect, and neither am I perfect. But that's something that I want everyone to understand. That's the uniqueness and the blessing of being a Bible-believing Christian is that we're independent Baptists. We're not a cult someone calls us cult, you can mark them down. You can definitely mark them down. Uh, my teacher is uh, Dr. Upman at Pensacola Bible Institute. And I'll tell you for a matter of fact, 100% that uh, he told his students to never be like him 100%, otherwise they're not right with God. And I'll tell you what, a lot of the things that we learned from that man, he helped us. And then the Lord took him and Jack Chick home. They, the Lord took them both home at the right time, I think. Because now we're at the craziest time ever. And those two men, the Lord bless them by taking them home. I, I really believe he said, you're done. Now it's time for Laodicea, and, Laodicea, the apostasy and the wickedness to rise. And let them handle it. But you two men, Jack Chick and Dr. Ruckman, Peter S. Ruckman, you've done enough. I think you should get away from all that evil. Come home with me. You know what? He might say that to us too. Our time is coming really soon. He'll say, come up hither.